Well, alrighty then, the day has come. Uh, here are the, the Soulbirth previews. Uh, that just got released a couple of minutes ago. Um, and yeah, he's, he's looking pretty nice. Uh, not gonna lie, his art, like the Maximum Rokan art, I really, really like it. So, let's take a look at his info. Um, he is not a limited character, by the way. So, if you wanna, if you're not that hyped that the Soul Bird is final here, you could skip it, uh, skip him, I mean, um, because he's gonna come back later on in, like, uh, other Feral and Banners, um, unlike limited characters, who come back after a year or a couple of months, you know. Uh, so, he is a Breaker and an Enhanced Mode unit. Uh, let's take a look at what his Enhanced Mode does. Ooh, I see that he raises his own crit and attack with each attack by 7%. Okay, interesting. And when he goes in enhanced mode, he raises his attack and crit by 10%. Okay, uh, very interesting. I mean, with those two buffs and him being in enhanced mode, and look at that attack stat, by the way. He's gonna be strong. He's surely gonna be strong. Okay, enhanced mode um, details. So, Trust attacks strongest on uh, all enemies, raises his own attack and critical damage by 7%, uh, and breaks by 75%, okay. Uh, same thing on his assault skill, basically, he raises his uh, attack and crit, and then on his incarnate skill, um, oh, it's an AoE, when in enhanced mode, okay. Um, this is 50% uh, additional damage on enemies inflicted with physical resistance or magic resistance debuff. And then damage increases by 20% when your collection fills 3 or more. Okay, okay. That is, um, this is pretty good. More and more damage numbers, um, that we can reach. Okay, I mean, he's looking kinda nice, not gonna lie. Um, of course, I, I usually shit on characters that raise their own attack, uh, but here is his own attack and crit, which basically means that whatever team you're putting him on, he's gonna be fine because he's gonna be buffing himself. Um, you, you're just gonna need like um, a physical resistance lowering character or uh, ender collection field character, of course, to really like uh, get his full potential. Other than that, he's pretty good. Uh, Iskan, Breaker, Oni, this admin is great. Kirito is good. Asun and Mito are good. Okay, I mean, a pretty nice banner, not gonna lie. I mean, all these characters are great because Iskan got his EX Awakening. Roni is a break killer, so you probably won't need her, but still, it's a nice thing to have break killers at least um, on the bench if you're gonna need them. Uh, Administrator, of course, she's a great recollection of your character to have. Uh, Kirito uh, is a pretty good, um, you know, uh, he's healing on attack and raises critical damage uh, on all of his attacks, right? Yeah. And he also lowers physical res resistance, so uh, he's gonna be a great unit to have uh, this time around. Most probably, we are gonna need to use physical attackers. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's looking good, like this team is gonna be kinda nuts. And again, Mito is also a great one. Um, she uses attack of all allies, uh, which is pretty nice. And then of course, uh, she also is a break killer. She is the best break killer for Fire Island. Like, uh, I do think she's better than the Roni. Uh, because Roni, you know, she has the healing skill. Which, if you have Kirito, you won't really need, because he heals on attack. And of course, there's a limited Fire Island Asuna, which also can heal on attack, but... She's a magic attacker, and, um, you know, all these characters are doing physical attack, so... I presume we are gonna need to use physical attacker this time around. Uh, then on, we're getting a stage ranking event with him. Um, of course, we get his Imaginaria for free, a list team for him. Upgrade materials for Yui, uh, of course some backgrounds, another background, and his uh, and the Soul Birds four star armor. I, I presume it's yeah, it's a it's a four star armor. So basically, a uh, maxed broken armor for the Soul Bird, which is great. Um, I mean, not gonna lie, 
I cannot skip him. There, there's no way I'm skipping him. I've been waiting for so long uh, that I, I can't just skip him. Only because he's not a limited character, I'm not, not gonna skip. But I do have enough stones, I mean cubes. Um, so hopefully I get him in a thousand, but I do have uh, much more to spend um, if needed. So, I mean, he's gonna be a strong character. If you like the Solbert, summer for him. But if you're a free to play and if you rather would wait for limited characters, I do understand you. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Because, of course, you can get him anytime um, when he comes back. And I presume he's gonna come back during like the summertime or something like that. So, yeah, I mean, he of course will be a strong character. He has the incarnate combo, uh, break stacking, of course. Hopefully, we get lucky. Uh, other than that, that is all we got. So, I wish you all good luck on your summons, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye bye.